We have been investigating for several years some microRNA associated or preferentially expressed in hematopoietic stem cell and progenitors, one of which is microRNA-126, which is highly expressed in the stem and progenitor cell, and, it, and then is downregulated during differentiation. This microRNA control or helps controlling the, con the balance between proliferation and quiescence of stem cell. So it's one of the important factors which maintains the stem cell pool in normal cell. And we have shown previously that if you, uh, if you change the expression of this microRNA by inhibiting or forcing its expression, you change the stem cell capacity to proliferate or maintain. Now, obviously, the, the important thing is this microRNA also associated with malignancies. And we have found that if we force expression of this microRNA-126 in progenitors, when normally it would be downregulated, there is a high incidence of leukemia development in mice, both of a lymphoblastic and myeloblastic type. Okay. And when it comes to that downregulation, how does that make it more or less susceptible to certain therapies? So it may be an interesting target because of its opposing function at this point. Of course, um, we don't have a targeting strategy yet. We have identified a potential target here. Uh, because it is, uh, its role in a hematopoietic stem cell is to maintain quiescence and prevent excess proliferation. So if we inhibit this microRNA, we, we may actually improve proliferation of normal stem cell. On the other end, it has an opposite function in the leukemia stem cell or in the ALL leukemia cell. So in that case, if we inhibit that, because we prevent the stem cell from being more quiescent in the leukemia and more resistant to, to chemotherapy, we may actually make them sensitized more. So there is an opposing function which play actually in this case to the therapy. Uh, if we inhibit that, we let potentially improve the state of normal stem cell and we actually um, make more fragile the leukemic stem cell. So it's an interesting target for that reason. Um, this was experimented using doxycycline, is that right? Yes, we, uh, we had this expression of the microRNA control by doxycycline. So essentially, once leukemia developed in the mice, if we shut off expression of the microRNA-126 by doxy administration, the leukemic cell crashed, and, and actually the, the mice uh, did recover, even if they were already highly severely symptomatic. So there was a, an addiction of the leukemia to the continued expression of the microRNA-126. And when doxycycline was stopped, was there any then relapse or refractory rate? We have seen some delayed relapse in some mice, uh, which escape, of course, at this point of control, uh, as if one is expected in this sort of a highly mutagenic setting, but the majority of mice did not relapse. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add to summarize this trial? I would say that the, an important thing, of course, this is a, um, an experimental model in which we force expression of microRNA in mouse set stem cell, but we have concurrently analyzed a sample from clinics of patients affected by uh, um, lymphoblastic ALL, and we have found that the microRNA-126 is highly expressed, and again, this is an abnormal feature because you wouldn't see that expression in the normal cell counterpart, and the highest expression correlates also with worse prognosis. So this could be, again, a, again an in interesting target for potential you know, pharmacological development.